In this video, we want to show how to change the parameters of something like a BJT. So here I have a simple BJT set up where we're basically creating a base current through here and then the transistor is going to create a collector current. We're doing an operating point. So if we simulate this, we see that the base current is like 10 microamps and the collector current is 3 milliamps, so we have a beta of about 300. Now, the beta on a transistor can change a lot, so we want to be able to vary the, the beta. So if I come in here, pick new transistor, here is the transistor. And if we scroll over, it shows the model with all of the parameters. Now we could copy this model down, we could go control C and do edit spice directive, copy all this in. We can change this name of it to my BJT. And we can come in and change whatever parameter I want. So here is the BF, I can, which is my, my beta in the forward active, I do that, I change this to my name, my BJT. And so now when we run this, you can see that I went from 10 microamps up to 1 milliamp, so I changed my beta to about a hundred. Um, okay, so that's one method, but we have to copy all of this down and all of that. Okay, let's look at the next method. So the next method is I just want to change the beta so I can do something similar except for I don't have to copy everything down. So I'm going to do the dot model and I'm changing an NPN. So I put in NPN. Whoops, sorry, I put in the name, my BJT. And I'm going to use what's called AKO, which is a kind of, and then we're going to go to N3904. So what this is saying is that my model, which is called my BJT, is a kind of 2N3904. So that's a kind of this. But, and then I can change a parameter. So I can go BF equals 100. So I don't have to go copy it all down. I just say, hey, I have a new transistor that's a lot like this, except for I'm changing one parameter. And again, we have to make sure that it has the right name in here. Okay, and then we run this. And you see it ended up being the same thing. So we basically did that without copying the whole model down. Okay, that's the second method. The third method is we want to sweep through it. So let's go back to my original one. So we want to sweep through a parameter. So I could do a dot step param. So I can come in here, pick new transistor, copy this down, and hit edit spice directive. And then I can come in here and do BF equals, and then we're going to give it a variable, which is called B. And then we're going to do dot step param. We're going to change B from 100 to 300 in 50 point steps. And we have to change this name. And change this name. Okay, so then it's going to use this model, but it's going to bury that BF, which I put in right here. So I run that. And now I can look, and so it's varying that from one milliamp up to three milliamp as a function of beta. Okay, so similar to the a kind of, 
we could, let's go back to our original one. We can use the same thing and do dot step npn 2 and 3904. So we're going to say, I'm going to step through and I'm going to be looking at an NPN transistor and I'm going to be changing the 2N3904 and I want to change my BF and I want to change it from 100 to 300 by 50. Put down that and run this. Look at my current and you see it did the same thing. So I can just step through a parameter of something that's already modeled or I can copy down the model and set it up as a dot step param. And these are all the different ways to change 